friends of Cookie, and today I want to show you a couple of reasons why you should have a can. Why is that, Ranger Cookie? Well, for us bushcrafters, we need, or maybe some of us might like to have a, a can. What can you use with a can doing bushcrafting or camping or whatever you like to do? What is the things you can do with a, a can? All right, first, depends on the size and the can. This pickle can <sighs> smells like pickles. The horrible smell this thing carries. Now, I would not recommend put any food in your pickle bucket. Put your clothes in it or your camping gear. The reason why, it smells like pickles. And that keeps the animals out. You ever smell these things? Smell it. Oh God, it's horrible. It's like taking a dump in a bucket. That's the pickle bucket. Now the pickle bucket is usually bigger than the rest of the buckets you might find online or find at your local restaurant. But this is the biggest bucket that you might find. Let me rephrase myself. Then we have, this is a uh, chocolate. Light, light and fluffy. Now, this would be a good bucket for your food. It smells like cream or ice cream or cake icing. Basically, that's what this is. Now, you can store all kinds of stuff in these buckets. What do you mean, Ranger Cookie? All right, you can store food in these things for years. If you have MREs like this. <clears throat> and you can put your MREs in the woods and come back for it when you need that emergency food because the world's done being destroyed. You have a bucket of MREs ready for use and no animals got into it because you know why? It's in this <clears throat> sealable Bucket. I never had a squirrel break into one of these buckets yet, but I had a squirrel eat my bag. I got one of those green duffel bags and I hung it up in the tree to keep the bears away. And guess what? A squirrel got into it. A damn squirrel ate my bread. And then when I got this, my mistake, my mistake, I put my food and this thing first. Yeah, we're gonna be a piece of bread. Pickle. Pickle bread. Boy, that was a horrible smell. All my bread and all my food smell like pickle. You ever smell pickle? God! Now, and make sure you get some of these. Alright. Alright. Alright, uh, Omazone Dehydrated Release Capsules UPS, but that's not what this is. I, you know, earlier when I was showing you my gear, and I had those little, those little things you put in, uh, yeah, I got tons of those things. I got them all over the ground. Damn you, boy, pick them up, I need them, I need them. Those, those little do not eat things you find in your electronics and your pill bottles. I got a whole basket of these things in different forms. You know, I got the little containers. Now you want, if you're storing clothes, I'm sorry, you're so close. Damn you, boy. If you're storing stuff in your can, except for your MREs, because they don't need this. If you're storing clothes or your gear in these boxes or these containers, put a few of these in there so it absorbs all that moisture that you have. If you don't dry these buckets well, and you just leave it, just a little moisture in it, just a little, a drop, you could destroy your whole gear. Depends on the gear too. Electronics, you just forget about it, it's gone. Because what happens, if this gets heated up, it 
You know the circulation, it evaporates, it turns to mist, and it gets everywhere. It turns your clothes green, fuzzy, because you didn't dry the bucket well. All right, what other uses you can use with a bucket? Well, you can store food in it. We already explained that. You can store your gear in it. You can make a washing machine out of it. What? A washing machine? That's right. A washing machine. If you want those campers going in the middle of the woods, having one of these buckets is good to have to make a washing machine. If you have only two sets of clothes that most people bring when they're hiking or going far distance into their camp area, having a bucket at your campsite is a good deal. Because you can take a smaller bucket. Well, you know what I'm talking about. A bucket that fits in a bucket. Drill holes all in it. And you go, kush, 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 kush. You can uh, boil your water if you like or use normal cold water. Believe it or not, what washes your clothes is the friction. Chaka, 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 chaka. That washes your clothes. Not hot water, but it does help. Don't let me get me wrong on that one. Now make sure if you store it any of your equipment in the bucket, make sure you dry it out and throw you a couple of these pills in it. You know what I'm talking about, dehydrated. Are done thing any things. It says do not eat on it. Alright, what other uses you can use with a can? Let's say you make a kit. See, this is my car kit if I want it to. I have a mercy kit. I have a cup. I have alcohol. I have a bandana. I have a cigarette lighter. I have a knife. This is the cookie kit. You remember that kit? I have alcohol, I have zip ties, I have band-aids, a lighter, string, utensils to eat food with, wire, fire steed rod. Aha, uh -huh, you don't got a toilet. You got everything about a toilet, Ranger Cookie? Ah, but you're forgetting something. made the cookie can. What was the cookie can? Well, I made a cookie can. It's basically a turlet. During the rendezvous, don't forget, the rendezvous is like three months away. Yeah, about three months away. Sure. What's in my cookie kit? You've seen it on that uh, video, the cookie kit. But I'm going to show you that you can make a turlet out of a can. You get one of these styrofoam looking things. You get you some garbage bags. You get some, you know, uh, uh, gloves. And another piece for the, the turtle. And, and you put a bag in it. Then you wrap your thing around it like this. See, I got light. I got another can. We're in the can. And this one had my lights in it, my my hand sanitizer. See, look. See all that green stuff? Because it's moisture in there. And it turned green because I've got moisture stuff in there. You know why? Because I forgot to put a couple of these things in there. I got plenty of them, so go ahead and I use a few. Look, and another thing. And you're storing your stuff. Make sure your seal... It's not getting all teared up because water can get in them. But if you put this on the ground, cover it up with camouflage, and tarp it or bag it in a bag, it should last for years. So this is how you use the terrible thing. You just sit on it. You do your business. Oh my God. <laughs> now if you finish your business, Get up, you after you wipe, of course. Well, it depends on how you wipe the butt. Yeah, you buy. Then you take the bag and you throw the bag away, or just leave it for the next use. As long as you're the only one using it. <coughs> That's the cookie kit. So here's a couple ways of using your can 
in a survival mode. You have the cookie can, the turlet. You have the kick can. You have the storage can. You have another storage can for food or gear. Then you have another storage gear for your MREIs. Whatever. And that's all your storage for the day. And don't forget, get your iron iron thingy dings. Cause that, that's gonna keep that's gonna keep your stuff dry. <coughs> These things. Alright, I read you cookie. I see you next video. <laughs>